feel like I'm not wearing enough yarn for this video, so let's go ahead and change that. Uh, I still think I'm not wearing enough yarn, so let's go ahead and fix that. Still not enough yarn. Let's go ahead and fix that. Ooh, and you know what? Just for all intents and purposes, let's do one final one. Oh! All right, welcome back everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the little cutesy little intro for this video. I have been on a finished object spree. For those who are new, hello, welcome. My name is Gerardo Limon. I am a fiber fanatic, a fiber fiend, a collector of yarns, but I also use them. So it's not technically collecting if you're using it because you're not preserving the original product. You know what I mean? But this is a channel in which I geek out about yarn and fiber arts and just show you guys my, uh, freestyle designs that I like to do. I am here in Chicago, Illinois, so if you do stop by, let me know and we can meet up in one of the yarn stores. This channel is just for you to sit back, relax as you're crocheting, play this video, and uh, you know, leave your input down below in terms of what you see. Do you like my color aesthetic? Do you like my wacky style? Do you, are you inspired by something? And motivate me to finish writing patterns because I have to finish these patterns for some of my, most of my, all of my designs. <laughs> yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, Make sure you subscribe so you can stick around and hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I go live and talk about more fiber stuff. I went to, uh, I have been visiting my newest local yarn shop that is 20 minutes away from my house, which is closer than any of the other yarn shops. The next closest one is the downtown location, Yarnify, which is where I got this yarn of Knitted Wit and this yarn, which is Old Rusted Chair along with this one is the yarn that I got at Miss Pearl, which if you saw my last video featuring Balance Gain, from, uh, Kendra from Balance Gain, we just talked fiber and yarn and our projects and what our goals are for our channels and whatnot. So if you haven't seen that, watch that video after this one because it is a very, very good time drinking mimosas and working and finishing a project. And I shall actually show you guys how I finished one of my capelet designs in terms of a rectangle design and then you just close it up and it turns into a nice cape and shawl. So today's video, I'll be inserting some footage of the Miss Pearl grand opening when I went with my girlfriend. And then I'll be showing you some other footage of when I went for her Pearl talk. And then uh, the third one was, it's the footage that I took after I had my fiber chat with Kendra. So you're gonna see three different times that I visited the store interspersed throughout this video. But I just want to sit down and chat and show you guys what I got and what I did with it. I managed to complete this project. I did one glove. I'm thinking I might do the other one, but I'm kind of liking this one glove moment here. Super, super simple to do. So if you are interested in this, give this video a like and make sure you share it and leave me in the comments down below if you want this pattern. And I will definitely write it up because it was very easier than what I thought. This is probably, I think this is the second time I've done gloves. And I didn't know I could just freehand gloves like that. So that was actually a very nice surprise on behalf of my own personal skills in doing this. I went to Miss Pearl's yarn shop and I just love her whole theming, her whole vibe at the store. It is all pinks. Also, I got a new hair color. I am ready for Halloween. It is fall here in Chicago. The leaves haven't really changed, but I'm gonna change before the leaves because that's just me. And so I got some purple, I got some red, and then I kinda, I add, this is supposed to be blue, but it kinda like mixed with the blonde and did this like really gray brown type of moment, which I'm actually not upset about. I'm thinking I might keep this for October, but let me know if I should add some green because I kinda wanna add some green for Halloween. And so when I first went to Miss Pearl, you should have seen a little bit of what I did with the blue and the yellow, which is what I call the starry night moment. And I actually completed a shawl. And if you saw my last video on my channel, you saw me complete that garment. So I actually have enough yarn to do some gloves. I'm pretty sure I can do a couple gloves with what's left of this. You really don't need that much, which is what I discovered doing this because 
I did this cowl with some cabling designs over it, all over it. And then I still have this much left and this is after using the gloves too. So there's definitely enough for that. And I might actually have enough for a beanie too, which is pretty cool because you're making your investment go a long way to get a cowl, pair of fingerless gloves and a beanie at the same time. I think that's a win-win situation for us fiber fanatics. So the second time I went, which is this footage that you saw of Emily, which is my dear friend over here in, in Illinois, and she is the actual dyer of distortion fibers. And when she, when I was there for the Pearl Talk with my other dear friend was the actual lecturer, giving us the lecture of ply and the technicalities of ply in, in, in yarn. And she, <laughs> I see I'm such a bad influence because I saw Emily and I was like, Emily, I know you're here and I know you probably brought a restock for Miss Pearl because she sold out on the grand opening. So the yellow and the blue, I'm glad I got it because she actually sold out of all of the distortion fibers and I knew Emily was restocking her. So I told her, I know you brought it, take out the box. Let me see what you got because I want to be the first one to pick some colors. And she pulled these out. I gravitated towards this because this is kind of like my fall kind of still want Christmas to be here at the same time as Halloween type of moment which is this very like dirty, she, her aesthetic is grunge. All of her yarn colorways are influenced by grunge alternative style. And you can definitely see that in her dye work. So this is what I consider kind of like quote unquote dirty, Ugh, excuse me, dirty dyeing. And it's got a nice little pink and moss green moment. I call this like a wannabe Christmas color, but it can definitely be a fall colorway because of that deep dark green and it's actually showing up very well on camera. See how it's like in between a gold and a green and a pink. And then I got, oh, I think these are three different bases as well. Oh no, two of these are cash, cashmere sock. I did not even know that, that this had cashmere in it. 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, four ply sock, 425 yards. Wow. I didn't even know this had cashmere in it. I'm actually quite excited about that now. And then this third one is a super single, which is just 100% superwash merino, single ply, 400 yards. And look at that. Look at those hues of red and pink. Kind of similar to old rusted chairs, but not really because this one's a little bit more on the red cranberry side. And this one's more on the jewel toned pinks and red sides with a hint of purple in there. Like you can definitely see, especially in the white light, you can see that purple undertone which I'm very, very digging, like just these two. And then she had an Americana colorway and you know I am a sucker for Americana colorways. This is her cashmere sock again, which I didn't even know was cashmere, so that's actually a plus. And I'm thinking of combining these three together to do a little funky red blue moment. But now that I know that I, actually, I can actually get a cape out of two of them, I might just stick with these two and then do something cool with this. Not quite sure yet, but uh, since this is Americana, I always have trouble using this because it's just so beautiful. But at the same time, kind of want, I don't know, you can kind of combine these two together or something like that. I'll figure it out, but check her out, Distortion Fiber. I'll put her info somewhere here on the screen and also in the description box below. Check her out. She's Distortion Fibers on Instagram as well. Whew, okay. What else? It was a very, I'm very, so let me just talk real quick about the yarn store. Miss Pearl is definitely a much needed commodity here in the south side of Chicago where uh, people of color can be represented in the fiber market. Um, I'm very grateful that she has a safe space nearby and also for people like me who can feel comfortable going to such a luxury type of store because, um, I mean, yeah, you do have some uh, affordable yarns, but you also mostly have the hand-dyed luxury yarns. So it's always nice to be considered, especially in the south side of Chicago, to be considered a um, uh, customer able to participate in that type of uh, community, you know. So just throwing it out there, shout outs and snaps to Miss Pearl for hustling and for taking the risk of 
creating this business and the safe space for us definitely feels like a family the couple times i've been there and the people are pretty cool who are actually there too now this next one i actually had in mind the so person who is project in general is just mainly to accommodate the everyday shopper let's just say and you're always looking for a good deal so i picked one skein of hand dyed yarn and then two quote unquote affordable yarns because i want to mix them together and combine them to show the potential of you don't have to get you know all of one dyer or all of one brand you can actually depending on what your budget is you can pick from here and pick from there and create beautiful yarn harmony so for the hand dyer i chose blue fiber company which you guys should already know especially if you're following me on instagram i have his starry night and s'mores colorway and i actually have an extra skein of s'mores so i might be able to mix it up and combine it with this if i need to but i don't think i will because there is a theme to this project and the theme is fall gourd colorway like just earthy tones and fall tones like for example, bam, look at that. This is from KFI Collection, Indulgence 4-ply Sock Superwash Virgin Wool. And this is the colorway Kings Canyon. This is 75% superwash wool, 25% polyamide, and it is 459 yards of a super fine size one. Whereas this one is 100% superwash merino, worsted weight, 218 yards. This one is called Corton, and it is just the perfect fall orange colorway. Kind of matches my hair, actually. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. See, I'm, I, I have a theme going on. So I have this, which is a very nice, wooly, kind of heathery. Let's see if that'll zoom in. There you go. Very wooly, earth toned, heathery type of sock. And this should be a nice disruptor for such a bright colorway such as that look at that rich tone mm -mm -mm. you did not skimp out on that dye then i will be mixing that with this is the first time i'm actually using this is the first time i'm actually using noro yarn and i am very excited about this i believe this is japanese yarn made in japan yeah noro the world of nature uh kurio patora Grey Patora Lot A colorway 1031. So you guys are interested in this particular brand. That's what that is. And check those out. Check that out. It is like earthy tones with a hint of neon. You got that dark brown and reds. And then you got that bright green and the pink. And it looks like it repeats itself at least three times. So I just thought this was a good companion piece to the other two colorways. And I'm just going for that funky, chunky aesthetic that we all love and we see, in the, especially in the fashion houses now or just on TV. And I just think this is a very interesting color palette to work with. And I'm actually quite interested to let this motivate me and create, since it is different sizes, I believe this is a two, one. This is definitely like a four or five because it's pretty chunky and it's roving, so... Uh, it alternates between thick and thin. I'm feeling motivated by this, and I think this is going to really bring the other two together in terms of funky, yarn, chunky. So let me know in the comments down below, what kind of colorways do you guys feel in the fall? Are you an earth-toned person? Are you a, even though it's fall, are you a water-toned, jewel-toned, warm-toned, cool-toned? black tone, neutral tone, white toned. <laughs> Let me know if you think this is actually a good idea for me to combine it with, combine them together, or let me know if I'm crazy. Let me know if I'm onto something. But I just wanted to take a moment to just quickly record, say hello, happy fall. I am currently in school. I just finished midterms this week. I did pretty well if I do say so myself. And uh, for those who don't know, I am in a paralegal program here in Chicago because uh, I had to quit my job of being a Zoom instructor due to the pandemic. Gotta watch out for yourself, and I just don't trust people to be 
to keep me secure, especially at a gym, because I know how grimy some gyms can be from having to clean them for a couple years when I worked at Planet Fitness. Not to say Planet Fitness is dirty, but I do know how people, how dirty people can be and uh, I'd rather be safe than stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to stop in real quick, show you guys some of my finished objects. Look at that, check that out. Isn't that a cool design? This is just triple crochet, half double crochet. And then this is front post, double crochet, front post and back post. So you're just alternating every two. Oh no, this is every single stitch you're alternating. Normally I do it every two, but that's fine. I think down here I did it too. Oh no, 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 single. Oh no, 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 single. And then I just overlay the cables in a random way around the cowl. So you get this like nice pointy design going all over on. Um, I just thought that was very interesting and I just did the fingerless glove and I have to finish the other one as well. Um, that's it on my end. I'm pretty doing pretty well. And like I said, I just finished midterm. So I am ready to work on some more objects. I am currently frogging this one, which is knitted wit. Uh, I liked how it was working up skip stitches. And so I'm going to redo it and do a combination of triple crochet and skip stitches. Cause you can't really see when it's half double crochet here, they're kind of battling it out, but I do think I'm onto something when it comes to that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What are you up to? What is on your hooks right now? What are you, are you guys getting the new Karen anniversary color colorways? Do you guys want me to do another Karen anniversary challenge? Uh, because that is actually one of my most popular videos here on the channel. And I'm thinking I should do a part two and show you guys how to get a hat, scarf, gloves, and sweater out of one anniversary cake. That was fun to do. And I think some of these new colorways are really, really nice. That blue one is really, really cool. I saw Crystal show off another one that was like brown, grays, and gold, golden tones. Um, so that one's pretty, pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for right now. Say hello in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much to all of my members here at the channel. I appreciate you guys. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick shout out at the end. Thank you guys so much, everybody, for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And a quick shout out to our Limon members. Let's go ahead and get started. Our Limon influencers, Karen Miller, Blanca Baltierrez, Cocktails and Crochets with Coco, and Corey Schlereth. Did I pronounce that right? Hopefully I did. If not, correct me and I shall correct myself. Limon Inner Circle, Ola Jo, the crocheting sailor. Thank you so much. And our Limon family members as well. Lauren, Angela, Amanda, Rose, and Lisa. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support. You guys make this whole YouTube experience so much fun for me. And I cannot wait to see you in our next live video. Thank you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.